Mm-hmm. You're a bunch of cry babies. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of cry. You guys are a bunch of cry babies. San Vanani, welcome to another episode of Talk Entertainment and Art with me, Wetisonke Kumalo, also known as The Anchor. Now, there is nothing more exciting than today's episode because, guys, finally, and we have an addition to the family. We have a new host, and today you guys are going to get to know her just as much as we are going to get to know her as well. Mm-hmm. So we're going to get to know her today. We'll ask her a few questions. And if you guys also have anything to say, you'll comment down below and interact with us. Welcome to Tea Podcast, our new host. <laughs> Is it host or hostess? Or it's hostess, not Sandizen. I think so. <laughs> but it, it should be hostess also in other... Yeah, on other things that but involve But I've host. always been called the host, mean, and yes. host is male. I feel so too. But it's causing so much it so it's fine. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the show, Zetu. <laughs> How are you, sis? I'm good, thank you. Oh, what a welcome. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm so excited. Uh-huh. And at least now you won't be the only girl. Yeah, I think yeah. I need someone who's going to relate with me because... Don't worry. Like, just now, <laughs> literally, I'm telling what Tevin was I wasn't okay. Tevin is just laughing. He's yeah, just, he was laughing he's the entire time. Understanding. <laughs> not, and now there's finally going to be someone who understands what women go through, how yes. I feel, and gone mm. But that's not the gist of this video. Can you tell <laughs> us about you? Who is there to our new host? Well, hmm, that's quite a lot to say. <laughs> you can break but, We have all the time. Okay. I think. So, um, my name is Zetu Tsabeze, also known as Aneli, because this is what happened. Uh-huh. Everyone o- always knows me as like Zetu. So when, when I went to where I work, when they called me for an internship, yeah. they're like, is this Anneli Tabetze? I couldn't say no, I'm not, you know. <laughs> how how and are you, on... Anneli Tabetze? And is it like your second name? Yeah, or... it's my second name, but okay. I use Zetu. It's just that at work, I use Anneli. Why? Confusion. I don't know. I don't know. It's a thing that you just chose, Gugusi. No, yeah. it's Avang Anneli at work and <laughs> Ain Daweni. I'm... <laughs> I'm Z. <laughs> yeah, it's because I couldn't say, no, I'm not Anele. I'm Z. What if they hang up before I say I'm Z to Anele, you know? So I had to go to the interview. What if they hang up before what? Before, like, I know they called me uh-huh. for the interview. Yeah. They're like, is this Anele Tabet? So that's my second name. Okay. You know, when we are all still looking for internship, mm-hmm. I couldn't say, no, this is not Anele. This it's is Z to you understand. I didn't so want to lose ev- the opportunity. Okay. So I just went with the flow. Everyone called me Anele. I is there a specific the reason why you go by Anele at a certain um, area? Oh, no, not at all. It just happened and I went with the flow and now we're here. <laughs> So how does it feel knowing that you're going to be a part of the Teapot? How, in fact, did you come to know of Tea Podcast? And how, when, is it, when did you know that, you know what, I want to be a part of that? Well, you know what happened? Mm-hmm. I went to, I've been watching Megji. Love that guy. <laughs> it's, 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 I think, okay, no, we'll, topic for another day. Yes, continue. Yeah. <laughs> so I was watching Megji. I'm like, no, man, this is interesting, you know. Mm-hmm. And also, I feel like I talk a lot, like I can talk for hours. So I was like, okay, this is interesting. And then I came across you and Mangwe. I'm like, okay, because I know Mangwe from school. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, let me see. Let me see. And like, okay, this is very interesting. Yeah. And then I saw... Um, I think Velefini had posted uh, mm-hmm. a short clip co- when he came to For do his the interview. episode. Yeah, I'm like, I thought he was part of the team. I'm like, okay, today I'm shooting my shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, uh, so I saw your episode. Are you part of the team? I'd like uh-huh. to join. <laughs> and, and then he's like, no. And then he spoke to the guys. And then. And now you're here. Yeah, everything. And then the rest is geography. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not history? I don't know. I stole that phrase from someone. <laughs> <laughs> so do you feel like you have something in particular that you want to achieve with being a part of the podcast? Um, well, yeah, because I studied international tourism and I feel like I want to broaden, like I want to explore, uh-huh. you know, because my friends call me like a PR person, you know, mm-hmm. when they want to know who, who did what to who, what's happening? they call me, you yeah. know, when they want to know what's happening on Twitter, they call me, you know, so I'm like, hmm, I might as well turn this, you know. So you're going to bring the news here? Yeah, I have, I have tea for days. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I have tea for days, guys. <laughs> But we'll see. <laughs> so basically, you want to broaden your... It's in line with your career. 
Um, and you feel like it's going to help you to a certain extent. Yes, yes, because I also... I also realized, like, I really, really want to do this thing. When I went to, you see, Sandek rooftop, mm-hmm, yeah. the place in the new place in town. I went there, and the first thing I said, I was like, a podcast would be so perfect here. Uh-huh. You know, I'm like, so I couldn't shake off the feeling, man. You know, when like as an as a setup. Yeah, as a setup, mm-hmm. like, um, and also maybe if they would have something, but I was like, a, 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 an episode here would be so amazing, like, cause mm-hmm. the views and everything. And then I just kept watching Mekchi. I'm sorry, I really like like you the way he does You feeling yourself. Yeah, I'm like, no, man, I should do something about it. Yeah. And here we are. <laughs> so when you were approaching uh, Mr. Director of the show, were you nervous? What What were you expecting? Um, Did you I'm think you were going to go to an interview? Like, good to better come here, sit down. Oh, we want I'm to know. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want the job? <laughs> Well, I'm a very confident person, Shame. Mm-hmm. Like, even when I wear clothes, I wear my confidence first before I wear the clothes. You understand? <laughs> you so wear your I confidence just... <laughs> first. Love it. Yeah, so I just approached Mr. Director's friend, you know, and then he wait, spoke. Mis- wait, Mr. Director's friend, Verifin. Yes, oh, yes. yes. Uh-huh. So he spoke to Mr. Director on my behalf. Uh-huh. And Mr. Director contacted me, and then, hi, it was like an interview. He asked me questions. What did he ask you? <laughs> He asked me why I want to be part of the team. Mm, I'm you know? broke. I need the job. <laughs> I need the job. Why do you want us to hire you? I need, I need money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he asked me questions. Mm-hmm. But nothing I didn't have answers to, I think. So, and then everything else just, just flowed and flowed. Uh-huh. And then... This Were is you worried? Because say maybe I'm not gonna fit in. What if they don't like me? Yeah, I was. I was worried. I was, but a little bit because mm-hmm. I, I have a special power. You see how we clicked as if we had known each yeah, other I for think, ages. Like, <laughs> guys, because what happened was, ne, we took a taxi together here. The the girl came at me, like <laughs> at first because I mean, social anxiety, I mean, surprisingly, and really? I'm always in front of the camera. Right, yeah, like that's I'm very always surprising. in front of the camera, but I do have a kind of fear of new people. Oh, yeah. Right, so I was, I was kind of like, <laughs> what am I going to talk about? Why is Tevin not here? Because we're supposed to go together. And then when you came at me and you were like, "Hi, girl," and I was like, "Okay,", okay. <laughs> and then I started easing into it. I was like, "Okay, no, she's cool. She vibes. Yeah, well, she's grand and all of that." So <laughs> I knew that, you know what, Nana, and I, clicking won't be a problem. Yeah, yeah. Clicking just won't mm-hmm. be a problem. It just happened. I guess it's the combos, you know, the way to say to, you because, know. Because, guys, if you spot <laughs> any similarities, if you can see in the camera and you're mm-hmm. watching, you spot any similarities, <laughs> comment and tell us what you can see that's similar between the yeah. two, apart from our names, because, yeah, of course. like, way to say to, yeah, Rhyma. Mm-hmm. We are Rhyma. So... I have a few questions to ask you. Just yeah, we Q and A. Yeah, not good squad. Okay, nothing intense, please. No, it's not going to be intense. <laughs> it's not going to be intense. But mm. guys, a girl who doesn't know what is going on between Russia and Ukraine. Oh, a red flag. A red, red flag. flag. Red flag. A red flag. <laughs> what is going on between Russia and Where Ukraine? What water is brewing? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Just give I'm us a joking. brief. What's going um, on? I saw, I want to break it down. Ne? I saw a post on Educators. Facebook, someone was breaking it down. That you see. No, no, I'm post a CD, <laughs> honestly, because even yeah, me, I, was I like, think so too. Russia is fighting Ukraine. But why? Why? Exactly. So I saw a post, this person was literally breaking it down. Mm-hmm. You know, it's in a smart swat, mm-hmm. So, like, like, yeah. and then there's an older brother that also wants to go build his own home or anything. Yeah. So um a piece of land and see me but say territory, yeah, can okay, you understand? But yeah okay. so my friends with enemies or or whatever, you know, it's something yeah. like that. So nyalo you you know the brother's now independent. Yes, yes, you know, own country. I think that's Ukraine. I think the brother's Ukraine. Because <laughs> what when I saw cause someone was breaking it down on Twitter uh-huh. and like in terms of South Africa oh, and yeah. Namibia. Oh, and yeah. they were talking about, it's okay, Namibia gains independence from South Africa. Mm-hmm. And then now Namibia wants to be a part of this treaty organization. And now South Africa is angry that Namibia wants to be a part of this organization. And hence, they're coming after Namibia. Oh, yeah, that's for simpler. For that reason. That's simpler, yeah. 
Yeah, it, it, it really did break everything down. Mm. It did break everything down. So let's say World War Three happens. Yeah, but Gopi's like it, it is, it's getting scary because is, he, imagine I like... I feel like it's far from us. And I can't even with be, COVID, it was I, far from us. We, we make jokes. You see how South no, Africa... No, 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 no. <laughs> like COVID, COVID, the way COVID was spreading, we knew that it was going to get here. Especially because South Africans travel a lot. Oh, yeah. So there was that, eh, maybe. However, with we die literally in one missile. If they were to throw one missile <laughs> at a Swatini, we're all gone. Yeah, so gone. It's a small country. So a part country. of me feels like it's far. It's not that So long far. as South Africa doesn't intervene. I feel so too. Um... I'm sorry, but I feel like we should just stay in our lanes as Southern Africa. Like, I don't know, <laughs> to avoid being part of anything. But also we want to help because I'm sure we're always asking for help. You know, we always oh, yeah. want food, we always hey. want clothes. Mm-hmm. Well, but then when there's problems, we, we don't want to go out and help. Yeah, that wouldn't look good. Yeah, well, so yeah. I, but also we need to know when to help. Because yeah. we can help here in South Africa mm-hmm. with protests. Good don't but, do it, Putin. Yeah. yeah, well, we tried. But we can't send troops. I don't even think we can call them troops. Are, are they troops? I, I, I don't... I don't <laughs> to, <laughs> no offense to anyone. <laughs> like, I'm not offending anyone, but I feel like we don't have the military training that is, like, going to actually sustain World War Three. Yeah, I also feel the we, same way. We don't... Way. Like, yeah. there's a video. I, I, I'm going to ask Mr. Director to, like... Put, Put it the here. video somewhere here. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere here. Of the essentially troops and what they do. Like when you see that, it's it's a depiction of what happens in mm-hmm. Masochene here. Mm. Because it's not something that we know. We mm. are not exposed to war as a Swatin. Yes. Why yes. would We're we want peaceful. to go and help Ukraine? But With what? We don't. Do we have tanks? <laughs> yeah, well, See, your and, point and exactly. we have AK-47, AK-47. But there are students that are in Ukraine. That's the sad part. Yeah, yeah, there are students that are in Ukraine. But apparently, um, they have uh, taken them to a... I saw someone, though, posting that they were literally walking by foot to, like, find some sort of a group. Mm-hmm. Or, But apparently, the South African embassy took them to Poland, and most of them are safe, so I guess... That, that was really nice. But That's then I saw better. in the paper that they said they're stuck. Are they not stuck? Ah, no, I no, don't know which is stuck. Which. No, 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 Tevin, you should know. We are corn. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, when are you the opposing? You're from the opposing country. How does it feel for you? Yo. I wish you were on the seat. No, but how does it feel in mm-hmm. this country that you went to? Is it taking another one? <laughs> <laughs> Now he doesn't have anything to say. But, <laughs> but yeah, then again, it's, it, it is quite sad that we have a certain students mm-hmm. who actually went there seeking for an education or all of that, yeah. and now they're stuck in the middle of a World War Three. I can imagine. Sure. What if it were you, but down and down, what do you think your headspace would be at right now? Oh my God, I would be panicking. I would be panicking. But I'm a very chilled person, man. I always see the brighter side to everything. I have oh, that yeah, mentality see the that brighter side. Me. A war is coming at you like this and you're seeing the brighter side. Yeah, like we're going to escape and go to another escape. country. That's like, what they all thought when Hitler was busy with, 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 with um, World War II. Was it World War II? Was it the, was it the Holocaust? What was it? But Hitler. When, he was, <laughs> <laughs> when Hitler was busy, everyone was hoping, well, you know what, we're going to have a better world. The world is... Mm-hmm. It didn't, didn't happen. It didn't yeah. happen. Well, I think I'd be panicking, though. I'd be praying a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So you're a Christian, you're religious. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's just that I haven't, I haven't gone to church in like more than one year, but I can explain. No, guys, <laughs> it's I can funny explain. how you can explain for everything. <laughs> But explain this to work. Okay. Well, it's because I always work on Sundays. So okay, the Lord well, knows. You can explain. Yes, you see? You can explain uh, Yes, I have proper explanations. <laughs> so you can explain. Shame. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm a deep Christian. I pray. I believe in God. and I think yes. the one question that I have for you in, in line with your Christianity would be that you're a very self-aware um, woman mm-hmm. you express yourself in art 
mm-hmm. in terms of tattoos and piercings. <laughs> How has that made you feel in your Christian life? Do you feel like Jaja or anything of that sort? Uh, well, no, people do judge because your guys' meaning was Makai. No, I'm not to judge. Yo, if I can, sometimes I go home wearing like shorts but not too short you know something mm-hmm. that i feel like no this is long and then they will start looking at me like ah so, 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 so <laughs> deal with that. yeah so like well my parents are very strict mm-hmm. so and they are also christians but they have this mentality that as long as now you are independent you have a stable job you're earning your money you can do your own things mm-hmm. to tell you something i didn't have any piercing five months ago even my ears. Wait, all of this happened in five months? Yeah, I'm going through a phase. <laughs> Everything happened within five months. You got two tattoos. How many piercings? Uh, well, three if you count this one. This is what happened. You I thought it was... explain. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I can explain. Uh-huh. I got this. I thought it was painful, mm-hmm. you know. So my manager is like a really cool cool person that one. She's like, no, 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 Anneli. Anneli being my other name. She's like, no, no, and today you're piercing your ears. Mm-hmm. You know, she pays for me. We go there. I'm like, they go, I'm like, okay. It was quick. It was quick. It's not painful. Yeah. Like, okay, let's explore there too. Let's see. Mm-hmm. And then I go to this one. I'm like, okay, doable. And then I do my first tattoo. Mm-hmm. There was that a special. That was not doable for me. The <laughs> nose piercing was not doable this for me. This one was doable it's for me. It's been over a year and it's still pain. I haven't changed it. I, I'm also scared to change because it. Because it's still painful. Sorry, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then you had your first tattoo. Yeah, and it went, you know, I'm like, okay, okay, we can do this. And then I did this one, and people told me, like, by their hands, it mm-hmm. gets painful, and it wasn't painful for me. I'm like, hi, girl, we can do more. Do you more. plan on getting any more? <laughs> My parents may be watching. <laughs> But they already know who would you look like. Yeah, I think I would, but just one. Because we're not going to be young forever at the end of the day. But then we are going to get old with these tattoos. What are we going to do? Because skin wrinkles. Uh, Yeah, and then the shape just goes. Exactly. (laughs) So there's that to bear in mind. Oh my God. We'll we'll have my nangit will be rich aunties so we can have these things removed. I mean... We'll rich auntie. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, we can have money, but I feel like, like, <laughs> okay, don't get me wrong. It's not mm-hmm. that I underestimate my potential or my uh-huh. capabilities. However, I feel like it's important to be realistic because mm, if true. I were to say, I'm going to be a millionaire, there's a chance I'm going to be in this here country. It's yeah, not going to happen. That's true. But like, I told you, I'm, I aim high and... You see the brighter side? Yes, the future's too bright. Get your shades on. (laughs) Is there a reason why you chose a butterfly? (laughs) Well, (laughs) to be honest, guys, this is the first time I'm I'm, I'm speaking the honest truth. eh? Yeah. None of my tattoos have a significant meaning. I just saw something I like and I tried to derive a meaning from that. Mm -hmm. So I just told myself, if people ask me, okay, now they know, but like, if people (laughs) ask me, I'll just say... A butterfly, you know how it starts from a caterpillar to like a butterfly? Mm-hmm. So it represents growth. So that's what I'm going to say to people. And I this. Was, I don't think I would have thought of that. What would you have thought of? Definitely not the caterpillar phase. <laughs> I would have just thought that butterflies are pretty and they fly very long distances. <laughs> so, so they're strong. And yeah, because for me, it's just that butterflies are pretty. I've always loved butterflies. Yeah, they are. So really I wouldn't have pretty. thought of a caterpillar. Goes, oh, it grows. And then it becomes a butterfly. And then I've grown. And also me, I've grown and now I'm a butterfly. I wouldn't have thought of that. I wouldn't have thought now of that. Now you're making me think people were not buying what I was telling them. <laughs> no, I mean, I did because I bought it. Oh, yeah, of course. I did. It, it makes sense to me. Yeah, now that I explain it and everything. Yeah, so now it actually mm. makes sense to me. Yeah, so... So would you say... Let's, let's play Would You Rather. Because uh, I did say that we're going to play a game. Uh, <laughs> would you rather... Mm-hmm. Stay indoors for an entire three days mm-hmm. or spend a week consistently partying, day and night. Spend a week consistently pa- partying. That's my honest no, truth. Stop. Yep. That's my honest truth. Why? What would I do indoors for a whole week? There's Netflix, there's food at home, there's a bed. That you sleep on. Are there other drunkards at home? 
<laughs> are there other drunkards? Yeah, because <laughs> when you're partying, <laughs> you see, people would have made sense, but you specified that these people must be no, drunk. Yeah, because I also want to see other people drunk. You know, when I go to Groove, you know, so I. So you're a Groovist? <laughs> <laughs> What a question. <laughs> but it, I mean, so did Kaze, like, well, I think so. I mean, Groove is fun and nice, and we won't mm-hmm. be young forever. Imagine your 50 year old me going to Solanis and getting down. So I want to make most of the time that I have. Uh-huh. Yeah, so. <laughs> like, okay, as I think the one thing that comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. Um, when I ask myself or rather when I see other women living um, so boldly and loudly is Mm -hmm. do you think you will be able to adjust as a makoti? (laughs) That's tricky. (laughs) Because it takes a lot. It takes a lot of submission. It takes a lot of discipline. Do you think you are the kind of person who'd be able to discipline yourself? I'm not too sure. But at the moment, I think I would though. Because I need to know one common one to I'll find a groovist husband, you know, like, you have to find that one person that will allow you to be yourself. That will allow you to be yourself. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I didn't go to, okay, um, my wife, okay, prefers to do this and that. She, she just likes yeah, going I'll out. I'll be a modern day Makoti. You know, we're changing the world. <laughs> what if his, his, his parental home is not modern day? No, I'll be traditional for two traditional, days. Or rather, maybe they're primitive. They're just strict. In fact, you have Voga, Shangele, Bala. Then how are you going to deal with that? Well, I would adjust though, because I'm a very patient person as well. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I think I would adjust. Hey, if you survived varsity, you can survive anything. (laughs) But varsity wasn't the way that they showed us that it would be in the movies. I know, right? It It wasn't wasn't all about parties. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was just stress on stress on stress and books on books on books. Exactly. The the whole party Mm -hmm. thing wasn't a thing. Yeah, they. I think they misled us. But you say I, you seem like you experienced that. Like, <laughs> I enjoyed my varsity. Because I, uh-huh. <laughs> I told you at home they're very strict. Mm-hmm. So the moment you get a key, they're like, "This is your apartment." Because it's your yeah, entire but standing. You know mm-hmm. the vibes. There's no. But my mom used to call me every day, mm-hmm. every day. Like, have you gone to school? Have you? And then I started off. One Friday, I didn't pick up his her, her phone calls. And then she's like, mm, I it's think you started gro- grooving now. And then she adjusted. So I think I did have a very great varsity life. You know, mm-hmm. Limco Queen is like... This. Because it is the vibes. Yeah, it it's is just the vibes. vibes Shame. It vibes is the vibes, vibes of the vibes of the vibes. So now when you <laughs> said you are working, right? Oh, yes, of course. Where? <laughs> People will stalk me. I'm <laughs> But it's part of your job. I'm joking. Because you're into tourism and all of that. So people I'm, need to know about you. I'm joking. I work at Lidwala Lodge mm-hmm. as a bookings and front desk uh, officer. You know, I went there for my internship. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then... every. You see, when you asked me about Ukraine, and I was like, not me. I have a feeling like certain things happened to me you know when i got there i did my internship um the lady that was the receptionist at the time was planning to leave you know things for me they just align sometimes you know it just happened it just happened and there was this geography you Mm -hmm. know still making more geography and i really love it there shame (laughs) you're welcome nance so when you say dwyla i've gone there once story (laughs) you owe me a story (laughs) i've gone there once um, when my friends and I were attending the first hypnotic, oh yes, yes. the second, because the first one I had gone with another bunch of friends. So then mm. the second one I'm going with this other bunch of friends, my from high school. No, mm-hmm. we need a place to stay. Spooked <laughs> one, and there's four of us. Uh huh. Yeah, there's four of us. We book a dollar. Um, we get ready. When we get to dollar, we check in. When we get there, they show us our room. There's this really sweet lady. She shows us our room. When we get there, we find two men. What? And you're like, Susie, there's a problem. There's, there must be a problem. Um, why are we in the bunkers with these two men? Mind you, they're not from the country. They're also here for hypnotic. They uh, came from a different country. Okay. So they're perfectly fine. They're just like, oh, no, it's not a problem. Like, we can share the room together, males and females. And we're like, not in Switzerland. 
<laughs> Not in this country. We don't do that here. So we had to develop a schedule whereby we wouldn't do anything until they have left. That means oh. we are in bed the entire time until they leave. But I'm if they don't leave, they were actually courteous enough to actually give us the space to oh. be girls and do what girls do. That while we get So it was really nice of them. However, it was a huge inconvenience sharing a bunker with two men you don't know yeah. and your four high school girls. Oh, yeah. I it can imagine. Quite the experience. But I can explain. On behalf of Lee Dwala, I deserve a promotion explain. after this one. <laughs> <laughs> Please explain, because that was I can, dramatic. I can explain. You know, there's, there's different... I think Futsi, during the days, our hypnotic backs is like, back, like backpackers, like hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what happens in a backpacker? Like, dormitories are independent. You know, it's, it's not like a private room. Okay, So yes. whosoever comes and pays for a bed gets in the dormitory. Another one comes and pays for the... Gets in the... But like, why no, don't you no. just make it like females only and males only? Like it gets tricky. But go back on if there's another dormitory that's vacant. Very most times, I mean, what I usually do if maybe there's another one that's vacant, mm-hmm. I won't put males and females together. So you, you know? males and females still actually spend a dormitory together. Mm, not dormitory. anymore, because there's only like two of the dormitories now. Because you know they have revamped. There's like private chalets yeah. and everything. So not really. Not really. And also we have like volunteers, so we always group them according to their genders. So it doesn't happen anymore. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. (laughs) Hopefully. Hopefully. So what is it that you look forward to with being a part of the team? Guys, I look forward to having like so much fun. It was really nice to see the guys setting up, you know, when you got here. It's like we're so chilled and they're just setting up, you know. Yeah, it's like joking around. Yeah, joking around, you know. I wanna have fun. I wanna gain experience as mm-hmm. well, you know, and I just want to find out like if I'm on the right track because I feel like I really love entertainment, mm-hmm. you know, like uh, What part podcasting. of entertainment do you love the most? <laughs> I think music. Music, music, the music part. Mm-hmm. I love music. Music, you know, with music. Hey, I have a deep, I have a deep relationship what's, with what's music. What's your favorite genre? Yeah, you can see piano. It all does the job. No yeah, you're but a deep I think house girl or it's just that I'm a piano nay, You know, I'm a piano in house mm-hmm. and what I I listen to them at groove. I don't actually have the songs on my phone. Mm-hmm. I love hip hop. You. I love really? Drake, you know. I love Black. I love Drake. I love AKA, you know. I love. <laughs> what? Why aren't you into Kanye? I just want to know. No, I also I also like him. Yeah, like I have nothing. If you had to choose him. between Drake and Kanye, who oh, would you... definitely Drake. Champagne puppy, like. <laughs> but yo, lo, you dang Why am I not winning? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not winning in the <laughs> You're like Kanye. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no. But but um it's a risk I'm willing to take. It's a risk you're willing to take. Yes. Really? Jake, <laughs> why? I think I want to know why as a female okay, but as a female okay, but let me ask you, why? Because I love I love his music. Sometimes I love someone because of his music, but I like, I love his music and it's just that I can't put the guys I've dated here, but they have something similar with Drake. Like, you know, his looks. So I like I'll, his looks. <laughs> the, okay, wait. He reminds you of your exes. No, no. A little okay. bit. A little bit. Some of them. Not, is that not something you want to forget? A funny story. I <laughs> you am... can explain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can explain. Uh-huh. Like, I, I haven't... I think I haven't been in much relationships, but surprisingly, I stay friends, but not deep friends. You stay but friends I, I'll with your stay exes. in good terms with my exes because Swaziland is a very small country. Ah, it's very small. It's to a small country, but it's still Sia Shaisa and Atina Labanye. Yeah, but like. A Satani. Yeah, but like, yo, you, you want, maybe you have a business and then you want a feature on Times of Swiss and you know, you call this guy that you don't accept his, you okay, know, Okay, okay, I, th- I think I understand why you kept the connections. <laughs> I, th- I think now I understand why you kept it <laughs> nice and chill, because you know what, it's is Yeah, fine. no bad vibes, but we're not deep like that anymore, uh-huh. but it mustn't be hard to approach you if I need a favor. 
Dude, you shouldn't need favors from exes. Ah, this life, no balance. You never know. <laughs> you never, you never know what could or what could you not never happen. know. <laughs> So that's the reason why Drake is your favorite. You feel like no, it's just you personally. You have what is it really? I, I think it's the music. His it's the music. music. Yes, his music, and just the way he carries himself. Uh-huh. You know, like his. He's more like you know one of those celebrities that never really have drama like that, like that. Local adventure in Sabai, yeah, hot sauce. Like that's the only scandal. So Drake, let's see, let's see, let's see. Send him my headlines. What is from Ghana? No, he was not hiding the child from the world. He was hiding the world. But from when the it child. came out, it was big. When it came out, it was just like Drake. Why? What why you feel from Tana? Yeah. Oh yeah. And, and what did the mom? Do? She was the mom of the child. What? Tevin should explain. I don't know that part. No, I want to hear the news. <laughs> I've spoken to these people one too many times. I, d- I didn't know the part that it was the mom. I just, because there's this song of his that is like, no, he wasn't really hiding the child. He was mm-hmm. hiding the world from the child, you know. So he didn't want the child to be, you know, when you're a celebrity's child, there's so many people. So there was a level of him being a protective father. Exactly. He was child. just being a protective father. You know how even Kanye doesn't want North to be on TikTok. He's being a protective father yes, type of vibe. Kanye is the best, guys. He's he just goes through some things. Yeah, and I I, I like him as well, but not like that because I feel you like should. Uh, uh, you no. should. You <laughs> should. Like you should. No. <laughs> I feel like Kanye is the American Aries. Yeah. True. His he, music is expensive. Like. Yeah, and it's relatable. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, to a certain extent. To a certain oh, yeah, extent, true. because there are certain things that, uh, Tevin, please, because there are certain <laughs> things that are like, you, you feel some kind of connection and you can feel that this is something that this person has gone through and they are rapping from the bottom of their heart. I would say, watch, I see money flowing. You see what you Girl, feel for yeah, Kanye? you see those things. You see what you feel for Kanye? Well, exactly that's what you how feel I for feel Drake. for Drake. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I, I don't have a choice because now you're already here and I have to accept that we have another Drake fan. Yes. That's another person to fight. <laughs> that is another person to fight. But I am so, 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 so happy that we actually have a new host who is a female. Yes. I can't, I can't overemphasize that. I honestly cannot overemphasize that. I am very, very excited to actually share mm. this platform Mm-hmm. I just wish Mango was here, but oh yeah, hey, that's going to be nice. Dana, so it's fine because it isn't you guys know each other from school. Yeah, I that. know him from school. I don't think he would see me. Nang 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 It was just like oh, there he yeah, is. there's the guy that wanted my friend. I'm joking. I told you guys I have tea. Hey, <laughs> the tea, tea, the tea is I'm starting really joking, to boil. I'm it is joking. <laughs> he needs to come and account. For these allegations, uh, he needs to come allegedly. and account for these <laughs> He needs to come and account for these allegations. No, guys, no. But yeah. But guys, please do interact on the comment section. Give her a name the way that you gave me a name. Let us know what you guys want I'm to so call excited. her, what you think of her. <laughs> Thank you so so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget. Apparently, liking is important on YouTube. It. I didn't know. Oh, me too. I, did, I actually learned from the vlogs I've been watching these days. Because really? they were just like, no, guys, please remember to like. Even if you don't subscribe, just, just like. like. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, please do like her videos. Mm, and if watch you the haven't watched, <laughs> Yes, and all the others. They must watch all the others. We mm. encourage you to watch them. Stay, please, and share to your friends. Thank you so, so much. It's a wrap. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>